Hello YouTube and thanks for tuning in. In this video I'm going to do an overview and programming tutorial for the Yaesu FT60R. In my opinion this is one of the best radios on the market especially for new hams. It's easy to program as we're going to find out in a few and the cost is great. At Ham Radio Outlet and Giga Parts at the time of the shooting of this video it's going for $150. It's a very durable radio. Regretfully I have tested this as it has fallen from a six foot shelf twice. There's been no damage and it still works like a charm many years later. Now some of the features for this is it has a very wide receive. 108 to 137 megahertz for airband, 37 to 520 megahertz AM and FM, but the cell phone section is blocked, 700 to 999 megahertz FM, but again, cell phones are blocked. Transmit 144 to 148 megahertz, 430 to 450 megahertz. The channel steps for this radio are 5, 10, 12.5, 15, 20, 25, 50, and 100 kilohertz. Weighs about 13 ounces, and the battery is a 1400 milliamp hour battery. Has three power settings low at a half a watt mid 2 watts and high 5 watts. Now there's a couple of really good accessories one that I really recommend and it's the MH34 speaker microphone. Plugs right in, works like a charm and this microphone will also work on Yesu's FT1D which is their digital handheld. You can also get the FBA25A dry cell battery case where you can put in several AA batteries just in case you don't have access to 110 outlet or 12 volt to charge the radio. I've also changed out the antenna from the rubber duck and the one I went with is the Diamond RH707 in BNC. And what I like about this antenna is it's hinged. You can lay the radio flat and still maintain your vertical polarity. To give you an idea of what it looks like in the back, I've taken the bell clip off. It does come with one. But here's your battery, 1400 milliamp hour. And like I said, this radio is built like a tank. It is super strong, can take anything. You don't have to worry about this battery popping off if you drop it. Okay, now, for storing frequencies, you power your radio on, press VM to enter the VFO mode. Then you're going to enter the frequency that you need, in this case I'm going to do 145220. After you've entered your frequency, press the FW down here on the bottom right and then the number one key. And you're going to turn the knob here until you get tone. Once you've got your tone, press the push to talk, PTT. Then press the FW button again and then the number two button we're going to enter your PL tone. Turn the knob to find the desired PL tone. In this case it's 103.5. And once you've got that, press FW again. And now to program it into memory, you're going to press and hold the FW. Then you'll get the next available shows up blinking. And you can choose whichever one you want if you want to write, overwrite something. In this case I'm just going to use the one that it gave me. Once you've selected it, quickly press the FW button and you get memory in. And that's all there is to it, to programming. Now if you want to label it, you're going to go to the memory channel you wish to label. So we go back to memory, and we go to 44, which is the one we just programmed in. 
press the FW and then zero and you're going to go to memory 28 which will say the NMWRT press the FW now once you're there if you need to clean, clear anything press the FW and it'll clear any previous labels now you're going to rotate the knob hit the FW first you're going to rotate the knob until you get the desired uh, one you want then once you've got that press FW to go to the next spot press FW again now if you've made a mistake and you need to go back one space just hit the down arrow with the megahertz above it and that'll take you back and then you can go from there and change to whatever you need it now once you've got everything in if it's under six characters you're just gonna press and hold the FW and that locks it in. Now if it's right at six characters you do not need to do that step. When you're done press the PTT and you're stored in there. Now let's see if it works. And we've properly programmed it in. I appreciate you all taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And as always, if you have not done so already, please subscribe. Thanks a lot.